Alright, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Supernatural, and really quickly, here I am building a room for Salmini, and then we'll get to the gameplay soon enough. Okay, so one of the new objects that I bought in Salamene's room is this magic mirror over here. So we'll go ahead and have Puck interact with it, we'll get a magical makeover, and then do the admire me interaction with it. Now let's see what some of his wants are. Oh, we'll get rid of these two. Um, okay, he wants to project the aura of creativity and also throw a fairy house party. And there he goes, he's getting his magical makeover. And um, that's very neat. So he got the outfit that I think is intended for like the vampires kind of, since there's a little rose there. But alright, so that's pretty awesome. And now he's going to go ahead and admire himself, I think. I'm not entirely sure what that does, but we'll find out soon enough. I wonder if um, we'll get a little text box up here or not. So let's see. He also wants to help uh, three plants bloom magically. And oh no, there's a zombie fairy outside. That's not good. So we'll go ahead and um, bloom these over here. So let's do that. And actually, we should have that pea shooter attack that dumb zombie. <laughs> Um, in fact, we'll do that right now, and let's make sure that this is locked, everyone but my household. Okay, good. And we'll go ahead and bloom these, and then, oh, what is wrong? Why did he cancel all those? Alright, let's go ahead and project the aura, at least, of creativity. Oh, it's all because Salomene was locking up the stairs. What a jerk. Oh, well, she's going to go check out the new object in her um, room. Hopefully she likes it. Oh, well she likes the tree lamp thing, so I'm glad. She wants to cast Ice Blasts. Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and use it on the zombie over there. So, go. Go downstairs. She had something that said zombie attack and then didn't do anything. That's weird. But, um, oh, Puck's gonna do that now, I think. Maybe? I don't know what he's thinking, but... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it seems... Oh, what is happening over there? <laughs> Alright, so they're practice fighting currently. And it looks like Marana lost that practice fight. Oh, you know what? I wonder if um he's going to leave anytime soon. Actually, hold on. Let's go ahead and do some romantic interactions with him. Um, Let's see. I want to have him stay the night to see if we can go to the um, fortune telling place and then see if they can woohoo in that uh, wagon. So we'll go ahead and ask him if he wants to stay over. Hopefully he will. Come on, Dwayne. He says, thanks for inviting me over. I really look forward to spending the night at your place. It'll be fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over here with... Um, oh, can we not do this yet? Oh, um, screw that. Let's go ahead and go over here um, with Dwayne. Because I want them to woohoo in the wagon really bad. <laughs> now, oh, she has a lot of negative moodlets, actually. She has some trash in her inventory. I should put that back in the trash bag. Or, I mean, trash can, because that's where she was rummaging through. Um, but her and Dwayne are currently going over there, which is pretty good. Now, why can't I click and drag this? Oh, maybe because she's not at her home lot. Duh. All right, now Vladimir, where is he? Oh, he's sleeping in Marana's room. He actually has a lot of energy. Uh, I'll have him go ahead and go research alchemy. Hopefully, he'll uh, be okay. And it looks like Dwayne. Okay, I thought Dwayne was gonna like race the taxi cab all the way over there, <laughs> but luckily he got in the taxi cab, and off they go to the wagon area. Hopefully, they can woohoo now. Try romancing some more and try again. Huh. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, there we go. All right, I was like, why is the option not coming up? There we go. So let's go ahead and go in there. Hopefully he'll be into it, even though her hygiene is all the way down. Come on. Go ahead and go in the wagon. <laughs> or just kiss each other all day. That'll work too. Oh, oh, go. Marana, go! <laughs> Why are you just standing there? Okay, there we go. So, they're about to woohoo in a new location. So, off they go. It's a pretty small cabin, so if there's people in there, there's definitely not too many places to hide. 
but we can hear the noises. <laughs> so that's pretty neat. Oh, there is uh, hearts and stuff going above, and I didn't even catch it for a moment there, but there it is. And let's see, we got a new notification here. So Vladimir has improved his alchemy skill to level 5 and can now mix elixirs into mystery drinks. And he learned the skill booster recipe. And awesome. So I think they probably both enjoyed that. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Um, we can go ahead and ask to leave date. And maybe he'll go home, maybe he won't, I don't know. And then after that, she can go ahead and go home. And hopefully, we didn't spend that much time together. Are you serious, Dwayne? I think that you two spent a whole lot of time together, if you ask me. But whatever. <laughs> that is silly. Um, okay, so Puck also improved his fairy magic skill, so now he can fairy trap a sofa or love seat to zonk them out temporarily, and he can also use a skivvies trick on Sims to let them know it's time for bed. Now where is Vladimir? Here he is. His thirst is kind of low. Oh, he also wants to harvest honey. Alright, I'm going to have him go ahead and smoke the box and then harvest the honey so we can finally show this off. And... Once he learns the elixir of uh, the flask of angry bees, we can make that because we'll have honey and beeswax, and then uh, we could have Salamini go ahead and use it on unsuspecting sims. Why is he in his swimwear when he's harvesting bees? Or not bees, but honey. That is really weird. I don't understand. <laughs> Usually when they interact with this box here, um, they wear like their normal clothes, but then they have like a beekeeping hat, but um, not Vladimir. Vladimir prefers to do it in his speedo, so <laughs> whatever, that's fine. Um, Puck has some energy, so I'm going to wake him up, and I knew I said I was going to use that jar of friendship on um, Oberon and Puck, but I want Vladimir to go ahead and be able to drink from Puck whenever he wishes without having to, you know, like, mind control him. So we're going to go ahead and throw this at Puck so that we can um, have them both become friends with each other and that way, um, you know, it'll be easier to... Oh, Salamene is playing catch with the pea shooter by herself. Okay, but anyways, Vladimir just threw the relationship thing to him and now they are both friends. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and drink from him and then after that we'll have Puck go ahead and go to sleep. Nope, don't brood. Get up. Please get up. <laughs> Come on. Man, Vladimir, you are so slow to get up. Alright, now after you finish drinking from him, go ahead and go to sleep. Or you know what, before we do that though, we should bestow the Flight of Felicity just to see what it does. And oh no, there's a zombie out there. Let's make sure that this is locked. Okay, I think it's locked, if I'm not mistaken. And we've just bestowed the Flight of Felicity to Vladimir. So now we can have Puck go ahead and go to bed. And let's see, so now he has the Flight of Felicity. Um, that tickling sensation in the stomach is almost enough to lift Vladimir right off the ground. So that's pretty neat. He seems pretty excited about it too. So I think he can do the I can fly interaction now. And oh god! Oh! It looks like Salamini is getting attacked by the zombie? Oh! I, I don't know what happened there, but it looked like it was gonna happen but then he transformed into a vampire again and then ran away and then got hit by a car no then got in a car and ran away but that looked like he got hit by a car for a moment didn't it <laughs> so um she actually wants to use like fire blast on someone and a whole bunch of other things wait Vladimir before you go upstairs um we're gonna go ahead and dismiss Bone Hilda and the reason for this is because I want to see the animation for when we summon her. The music's not working. There we go. That was weird. Alright, so let's go ahead and have um, Vladimir summon her now. So we will awaken Bone Hilda to see how it looks. Pretty cool, right? I don't know, I thought it was neat. So, <laughs> anyways, um, oh, what's this? He's stuffed. I guess he had too much fairy uh, blood or something. So after he finishes using the restroom, I'll have him keep researching more alchemy. Um, oh no, I think I forgot to 
transform her back into a human. Crap. Yeah, so we need to do that because apparently I think when they're still in their werewolf form they don't get as much um, energy easily. So she's also kind of stinky so let's have her go ahead and take a shower if she can really quickly before passing out and that way she can be in a better mood. Alrighty. So, oh, Vladimir just learned a new recipe for large and in charge. <laughs> what? Um, okay, let's see if we can make that one. Large and in charge. And they're lean and mean. So get fit and trim without hitting the gym. And take a drink and gain weight the quick and easy way. So it looks like we need hot dogs or something. So let's see if we have any in our kitchen. Okay, we do. So let's go ahead and mix that. We'll mix both. Um, oh, we'll need two Bane's Wolf. Actually, uh, Puck should have some Bane's Wolf in his inventory, maybe. Yes, he does. All right, so we'll give another one to Vladimir so that we can make the lean and mean one and uh, the other one that I just forgot the name of. That way we can make Vladimir fat and then fit again. And there we go. Now that Marana... Oh, she still has trash in her inventory. Crap. <laughs> Let me go ahead and put this back over here and we'll sell the scrap metal that we got okay and she actually has a seed in her inventory so we'll go ahead and put this out here and give it to puck later so that he can hopefully um maybe use it and his energy should be pretty high yeah so he wants to give vladimir a gift huh and wants to jam with him even though vladimir probably doesn't play any instruments but let's see if he can plant this Nope, he needs um, gardening skill level 5. Alrighty, well I'm going to have him go ahead and harvest the garden. And after he does that, I'm going to go ahead and delete these crops and then just replant them so that we can hopefully get better quality ones. Because, okay, large and in charge was what the elixir was called. So we have very nice quality. Okay, that one's actually pretty fine, so we'll leave that one alone. And all these other ones seem to be normal quality, I think. Oh, well, those are nice quality. Okay. Good to know, good to know, good to know. Now, let's go ahead and use the large and in charge sim adam. Or actually, should we use it on someone else? Let's see. Um, we could use it on Puck. <laughs> no, that would probably decrease their relationship. So we'll get Salamene to come downstairs. And in the meantime, I'll have him uh, mix the other elixir, the lean and mean one, so that we can uh, revert it. Or we can keep Salamene kind of chunky for a little bit, just because. <laughs> So, let's see, she should hopefully be okay. We'll have her go use the restroom since she needs to do that anyways. And hopefully she'll get a promoted today because I really want her to get promoted. She's only level one in the fortune telling career and we've been playing for quite a while. I mean, you know, not super long or anything, but she should have got promoted by now, but she hasn't. So, let's see. Okay. Oh, cool. Puck improved his guardian skill to level 3, and oh no, he wasn't successful in making the lean and mean potion. But we're going to go ahead and use the large and charge one on Salamene, and he's also nauseous currently, which is not good. But where are you going, Salamene? No, you are not going to go rock on the rocking chair. You're about to get fat. So let's go ahead and check this out. <laughs> so boom! Thanks to that sudden splash of large and in charge, Salamene Kapoor is large and in charge, wet and confused. <laughs> so Salamene, wow, that elixir was very successful and <laughs> I am surprised that she is still fitting in her clothes, but whatever. At least no harm was done to her, right? And now Vladimir's gonna go ahead and work out, so... I don't know. I'll leave him to that. Now, Puck. Um, okay, he's drinking. Um, okay, no honey has been produced yet. Then again, we just got some. So, yeah, whatever. I'll go ahead and sell or get rid of all these here. How much are these planters here? They are... 30 simoleons. Okay. Um, alright. When we get more cash, I'm gonna buy more planters and put like a row of them over here just because I think it looks nicer that way. And let's see, with Marana over here, she actually has some stuff that we can um, sell. She just needs to get up. Well, she's kind of tired though, so we'll have her keep sleeping in the meantime. But with Vladimir over here, 
We don't really care about you working out. Just go research more elixirs. I want him to lure the flask of angry bees so that he can use it on someone. Or I mean Salamani can use it on someone. And we have a zombie over here. <laughs> so let's see. Salamani, we'll have her go ahead and come down here since she wants to cast um, Ice Blast on someone. So let's go ahead and do it on this zombie. Hopefully she'll get there in time. She was thinking about the... Uh, oh, he got the potent melancholy serum. Interesting. We don't really want that one though. So here's Salamene. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and do the um, Ice Blast skill on her. So, oh. Hurry up and do it. Okay, you know, screw it. Just go to work. The zombie sucks. So go ahead and go. Get that promotion. <laughs> Puck is just over there um, playing with his toy. Alright, whatever. We'll plant some Bane's Wolf here and also some mushrooms. There we go. Alrighty. Come on. Oh, his fairy magic is depleting. And he wants to protect the aura of body okay. and mind. So, let's see. Alright, where is that zombie? Oh, crap. He has to go to work now? Oh, no, no. That zombie is just hanging out in front of our lawn for whatever reason. So, <laughs> whatever. At least she's not bothering anyone. Now, Marana... Okay, her energy is pretty much all the way up. So, I'm going to have her go ahead and wake up. And, um, let's see. How much is this? Oh, 13 simoleons. Let's go ahead and get these cut because um, we should be able to get more money by cutting them. And you still have to mail in your metals to get smelted, so we'll do that too. Hopefully she'll get up. And um, let's see. Since Vladimir, I know he might like temporarily burn. Let's go ahead and go to the alchemy store. I would take Puck, but Puck is about to go to work in uh, two hours, so um, hopefully his garden will be okay while we leave our house alone with the zombie. And let's go ahead and check out what's happening over here. Oh my god! There she is! The paparazzi! And what the hell? Hey! Why isn't Oberon here anymore? Instead we have this chick named Ashley. Ugh. Ashley. Um, alrighty then. Well, someone pointed out to me that... Um, ooh, what is this? Those are mushrooms. Um... What the heck am I looking for again? Oh, right here. So th there's these jelly bean like bushes that you can get. And I think you can die from eating a certain jelly bean. But you know what? Vladimir just lives life on the edge. And he's going to go ahead and go eat a jelly bean while staying out in the sunlight. And look at that. So he didn't get any woodlets from that, actually. He wants to eat three magic jelly beans so we gotta eat two more Ooh. yeah we're being very very risky mm. here oh. but hopefully everything will be okay mm. <laughs> oh alrighty so he is buzzed from the magic jelly beans and now he's gonna go play with fire <laughs> because I don't know apparently these jelly beans are making him really insane I thought he ate three already I don't know but there he goes he's playing with the fire um, probably not a good idea but I'm going to go ahead and let him do that. And I'll have him go ahead and eat another jelly bean over here. And, um, wow, there's a lot of butterflies and stuff over here. After this, I'll have him go home. Hopefully this third jelly bean won't do anything bad. So far, he's been lucky getting a lot of positive moodlets. And, oh, look at that. He actually, like, floats and stuff, too, when uh, he gets the flight of Felicity. So that's pretty cool. He wants to create invigorating elixirs, so we can do that since we know how to make those. And I think we have Bane's Wolf left, don't we? Yes, and I think that's all we need, actually. So we should be A-OK. -okay. And Marana, let's see. So she went ahead and... Um, oh, we can't smelt the copper? Oh, it's only worth 23 simoleons. Well, whatever, we'll still sell it because we do need some cash. And with the bugs, we need to go to the science facility so that we can donate them for more cash. After we do that, I will have Marana go ahead and maybe visit one of our neighbors, since I said I was going to do that in the last part. In fact, I'll have her do that now, since she is awake. Um, I wonder if Dwayne's at his house right now, actually. 
No, he's not. Okay, well, we could go ahead and go to... Let's go over here to the Durwood household. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's go over there. Because I think that's the guy that we did the curse by interaction with, if I'm not mistaken. And cool. Vladimir just found an uncut diamond, and it's valued at 145 simoleons. So let's go ahead and give that to Marana so she can go ahead and cut it later on. And with Vladimir... Oops. Where is he? <laughs> Clicked on the wrong person. Um, not only is he buzzed, but he's also entertained. So yeah, he's... I guess those magic jelly beans, they're good. But <laughs> they can be deadly from what I've heard. So let's go ahead and create this invigorating elixir since it is one of his wants. Now we can finally visit our first uh, residential lot, which will be with this house over here. That actually looks really, really nice. I'm sure it'll look nicer once it finally loads. There we go. Very cool. At least I think that's the guy we did the curse by interaction with, isn't it? I'm almost positive it was. So, wow, this house is really nice, actually. Um, oh, yeah, they also added, like, AC um, that you can put outside for decoration, which is kind of neat. Um, alrighty. So here's the guy, and he thinks that we're being impolite. You're the one being impolite. You're all smelly and stuff, and holy crap, he is apparently rich. And all right, Vladimir just finished making made uh, the elixir that he wanted to make, so that's good. He wants to buy a magic jelly bean bush, but I'm not going to do that just yet because I don't want my sims to like automatically eat them and then they like die. So I'm going to have him go ahead and harvest some honey, and with Marana over here. Um, let's go ahead and give a friendly introduction to this chick over here. Um, but hopefully Salamini got promoted today. Please tell me he got promoted today. Come on. Alright, good. <laughs> so she's been promoted to Fortune Guesser. And um, alright, she now works from 1pm to 6pm. And I'm going to have her go ahead and come over here with Marana for whatever reason. What is this? What is this? Oh, I think someone's telling a ghost story. I was like, I don't even know what's happening. But, um, <laughs> anyways, so let's see. These girls are, what's her name? Doreen. Oh, that's Caliente. Doreen Caliente. So I wonder if this is, I don't know what, like, time period or whatever this town takes place in so this could be before the sims 2 or maybe afterwards i don't know because i know with every neighborhood it's different now where's so many can't you get here faster <laughs> all right well let's see so they're apparently witches so i'll have so many go ahead and um challenge to a spell casting duel just because and we'll go ahead oh you know what she could probably steal things too once it's like 7 p.m I keep forgetting that we use that um, <laughs> elixir on her, so now she's extremely large. Let's see if there's like anything worth stealing around here. Ooh, there is a garage. Hello. All right, let's go over here <laughs> so that we can steal that car once it's 7 p.m. And then after we finish stealing the car, I'll probably end the part for uh, now. And maybe with uh, the cash from stealing this car, we could possibly buy Vladimir that bed. We just have to wait until it's 7 p.m. in the game so that we can... Hey! Oh! You guys went to go spell. Oh, why Why would you do this, Salamina? You're trying to steal this car. <laughs> okay. That's fine. She lost again! Oh my god. Well, can you leave now, Doreen? Let's see if we can have Marana go ahead and like call her over. Apparently not. So let's see. Let's go ahead and set fire over here. So, fire blast. Alrighty. Alright, now let's go ahead and swipe some things. And hopefully she will steal the car, and hopefully not the lamps. <laughs> but of course she goes for the lamp first anyways. And, um, oh! Hopefully neither of those sims will get damaged by the fire. Or Marana. Go home, Marana. Don't try to help them. Oh my god, please steal the car. <laughs> <laughs> First we do the curse by interaction with this guy, I think, and then we steal his car. And there's a zombie going after the fire too. <laughs> Alrighty then. That's pretty cool. Um alright, and 
that's nice. We did get the car after all. So that was a pretty good um, visit, I'd say. Uh, <laughs> I know we barely briefly went to um, a neighbor's house, but we will be checking out some of the other residential lots and the feature parts. And man, I keep meaning to show off the Joyride stuff with Salamene, but um, just never got a chance to. So we got 1,989 simoleons from that and like 140 simoleons from the um, lamps. So 2,500 simoleons. Let's see if we can actually afford uh, Vladimir's bed or not. Let's see. It is 2,625. Okay, we can't right now, but in the beginning of the next, uh, the next part, I will have Marana go ahead and, you know, donate the Firefly. And, you know, in the next part, we'll probably get our metal smelted too, and that will get us some cash. So we'll definitely be able to afford the vampire bed for him then. But, um, oh, what's this? Oh, she was flattered from uh, socializing and also let off some steam. With Salamene over here, let's see, so she's entertained <laughs> and also lost another duel. Who knows, maybe she'll eventually win one. But anyways guys, that's all for now and I will see you guys next time.